another year and another media poll that has picked Ohio State to win the conference. Michigan picked up some votes, but not Michigan State. So why do you believe that there's still a perception that your program is a perpetual underdog? It's been a process, like I always say, it's a process. And I've tried to stay very even keeled throughout this time, and uh, our goals are lofty. But it shows that if you dream big, that really anything is possible. You know, we've got guys that are highly, highly recruited guys. We've got some guys not so much. Um, this is a moment for everybody, and I hope everybody enjoys it. Spoke of uh, Spartan Nation uh, sits back and says, wow, look where we're at. A fumble here. It is recovered by Furman. On second down, Scott again. And Scott. Oh, oh loose, and it's Musso who's got it. With a spin, and he's got a touchdown. 63-yard fumble return for six. Losing the football on the exchange is Tyler O'Connor. Penn State football. A bad snap. Indiana's got it. And the punt slips through the hand. sudden it'll be a lot easier getting back to our hotel these fans have had enough this is not 2015. that pass is picked off intercepted byron johnson so connor fires it's deflected in the air and intercepted Devin Stutzdale comes down with the deflection o'connor hit as he throws intercepted no! o'connor on the run O'Connor's third pick throw today. The whole not going to rescue him here. O'Connor will throw. And it's going to be intercepted. Jordan Lewis picks it off. Why? If you're Michigan State. I mean, does this show a sense of desperation just hoisting sure. one up? Sure. O'Connor sprinting near side. And he throws it. And it is picked off. O'Connor now from inside is five. That's a wobbly one downfield. Chant his name in the background. Throws underneath and has it picked off by Michael Davis. Michigan State used to be airtight. Used to just be wonderful, creating turnovers and limiting turnovers on their own side. Things have changed. Kaiser quarterback draw. <laughs> Ten. Kaiser, good move at the five. Kaiser into the end zone. Touchdown, Irish. Hours way into the end zone. Climbing back in this one. Guys are pumped it. Fires in the middle. Touchdown! Smythe! And the Irish are right back in this one. Griffin Oaks to win the game. And it's over. Michigan touchdown. First down pass locked in to Curtis Samuel for the Buckeyes touchdown. The toss, maybe on Smith. That's a Michigan touchdown. And straight up the middle, Mike Whipper. Maybe on Smith up the middle. Touches the pile into the end zone. That's a Michigan touchdown. Will we have disruption to the playoff rankings? O'Connor to the end zone, and that is intercepted. The two-point conversion fails. Eric Smith corrals the ball.
mercifully, the two teams are now out of timeouts before the two-point play. As O'Connor will run the option and pitches it backwards, and it's scooped up, and there goes Jabril Peppers. He's going to score going the other way and pad the Michigan lead. You can go ahead and add that to the Heisman reel. After 60 minutes, Bob, I'm convinced that there's a defensive guy in college football that's worthy to get to New York City. Wilton Spate makes it official. The backflip from Peppers. And it's a Michigan win. It's early off play action. Humps once. He's looking at zone. Chris Godwin. That's a Penn State touchdown. Four-man rush on second down and 12. McSorley gets out of the pocket. He's one to the end zone. Under throw. Gasecki fights for it. He's got it. That's a Penn State touchdown. Play action. Another deep ball. Out in front. They'll run it inside the 10, inside the 5, and the end zone is Andre Robinson. A flip pass over the middle, Andre Robinson. Wide open, and into the end zone for another touchdown. Elite teams don't lose five games in a row. A timeshare program like Michigan State, though, you know, that, that timeshare in the land of the elite, you know, when that time is up, they lose five, six, seven games in a row. They've competed, but they were visitors to that elite status. You get to a point where, hey, owner comes back home. Vacation's over. All right, timeshare, rent the time to move on. And what happens with a timeshare, folks? Time's up, right? At some point, your time is up. It's like how, how the bootleg Becky from, from Roseanne felt when the real Becky came back. You know how she felt? That's Michigan State. They're the bootleg back. They're the bootleg Lionel from the Jeffersons. That's who they are. And then the real Lionel comes back. Now, I know that might hurt to hear that and to see that, to see the real Becky and the real Lionel come back home. That's what the people want to see. You see, what you do as the bootleg Becky, as the Lionel fill in, is you, you watch to see how it's done. That's what I mean when I say timeshare program. You're once in every blue moon elite team. You know, your UCLA's, your Texas A&M's, your Oregon's, your Michigan State.